Welcome in, everyone, to our GSP Ace of the Day presented by DraftKings. Remember, to get in on the action, just go to dkng.co slash cracked open. You can play along with us. Maybe follow your own advice. Make some daring picks. You can do it all with our friends on DraftKings. Of course, with that in mind, not the best day eight for me yesterday. And because of that, decided to switch things up. We're going with the all black, all DraftKings gear today. That's going to build the juju we need to have some success here on day nine of the U.S. Open. Of course, day nine means quarterfinal matches. That means the margins between these players thinner and thinner. Everyone's playing well at this point. With that in mind, let's get to our picks for ace of the day. Let's start with an over-under. We've had some success with the over-unders of late. I mentioned how close these matches are going to be. Simply put, the match between Denis Shapovalov, Pablo Carreno Busta, I don't see it being a straight set blowout. I think for Denis Shapovalov, given it's his first quarterfinal, yes, he holds a lot of advantages tactically and tennis-wise in this match, but he's going to be nervous, and I see a pathway to a set there for Carreno Busta no matter what. Similarly, I just don't see a world where Carreno Busta blows Shapovalov off the court in straight sets. You take the over at three and a half sets, you're going to get pretty good value on that, minus 195 odds, so we're going to put about a unit and a half. 15 on that. That's going to yield us about 8 in return. Again, building equity for some of the things we want to do later in the day. Let's go with Shapovalov, Crane Obusta over on three and a half sets. That's ace of the day number one. Ace of the day number two. Again, the two winners I am most confident in in tomorrow's U.S. Open. Alex Zverev versus Borna Chorch. Now, I'll say this. Chorch, three and one against Zverev. And of course, that leaves me apprehensive. But Zverev's just made everything look so routine throughout this major. And yes, Chorch coming off of a great win over Thompson, a five-set win over Tsitsipas. And, you know, a lot of the things that Chorch does well on a court to frustrate Alex Zverev hasn't changed. But Alex Zverev has changed a lot. The serve away weapon. If he's landing it, it's the biggest stroke in this competition. I think physically he's the fresher of the two players. I also just think this is his moment. He understands the opportunity in front of him versus Borna Chorch, who of course sees this opportunity, but for him just getting to the quarterfinals, a big win, a big step in writing the ship of his career. But give me Zverev in this one, and then give me Naomi Osaka. I've said it from the beginning. I think she is the favorite to win this event. She's playing when she plays her best tennis, it's just better than anyone else in the women's game right now. And Shelby Rogers is playing great. Huge serve, huge forehand. Again, I'm not going to lie. I'm apprehensive about this selection. But if Naomi Osaka can make a 3-4 and four win over Annette Kahn today, look at that routine. I think she can knock out Shelby Rogers as well. Give me Osaka and Zverev parlayed together. You get their odds down to minus 150 when you do that. I'm feeling pretty confident. Let's go two units on this one. That's going to be 20 to win about 14 in return. That's two aces of the day. Last one for you. And it's because we always say this tennis, one of the few sports that's broadcast across the globe, right? 24-7, 365 when it's rocking and rolling. Obviously, in the midst of a global pandemic, a little bit harder to do that. But we've got challenger action in France. We've got a WTA event in Istanbul, an ATP event in Kitzbühel as well. Plenty of matches. I think two challengers too. So plenty of matches for you to get in on if you don't want to bet these quarterfinals, if you want to look for value elsewhere. Our last parlay, going to be a couple of matches from the challenger in France as well as the WTA in Istanbul. Let's go. Elias Yimmer over Ruben Bemelmans, Jill Simone over, Fran- I believe, Federico Gallo of Italy, and then Caroline Garcia over the home wild card from Turkey. You parlay the three of them together, plus 140 odds. That's $10 to win 1440 That feels like a winner to me. Best of all, it helps us spread out the action. We don't just have to pick incredibly close matches in New York. We can look elsewhere again uh, for some more value. So, my three aces of the day. Again, Shapo of Crano Busta over three and a half sets. Osaka, Zverev parlayed together to win. And then Yimmer, uh, Simone, and I believe Caroline Garcia all parlayed to win as well. Those are your three aces of the day. And remember, to play along with us, just go to dkng.co slash cracked open. Get in on the action. Take advantage of DraftKings limited time offer to hear the full breakdown of these matches be sure to check out our great shot podcast feed as well Uh, but for now and as always we hope you enjoyed these matches and may the odds be ever in your favor